I'm currently in the Maldives, right around here. It are a bunch of little islands in the Indian Ocean. It's known as one of the most beautiful places in the world. I agree, it's amazing. Watch my previous video to see it shine. However, not everything here is a beauty. The beast is called Tilafa Tuli Tilafushi. So currently we're on our way to one island where all the waste is being dumped from all the little islands. So we're, we're currently in the middle of the garbage island where all the waste from the other islands is being dumped. Boats deliver a constant supply of new trash and everyone here is moving junk around. A tiny bit of it gets reused, but most of it is thrown on a pile that is just getting bigger and bigger. And in order to get rid of all this waste, we just burn it. Let's put this in perspective. So here we have the Maldives and it's pretty nice. And here we have Garbage Island, where they dump their stuff. And you wouldn't say, but dumping here is actually their best way. A lot of waste is also dumped in the ocean, because it's easier and cheaper. And although it makes sense because you save money and trouble, well it doesn't. At all. See, all the little islands are surrounded by ocean, and they need it to live. Fish is their main source of food and tourism is their main source of income. But the oceans are in trouble because of this stuff. Plastic. So first we have the tourism. People pay big time to see the nice clean beaches. And they look beautiful, people love them. That means they need to look good. But actually, they aren't natural clean anymore. Every morning the staff needs to clean it up. So it's currently 6 a.m. in the morning and we're gonna do a daily plastic cleanup. So collect all the plastic that's floating in from the ocean. And this is what it looks like if you don't do this. And this is only the big plastic, which you can see. So we just picked up all the big plastic from the beach, but then we noticed they also have a lot of very small plastics lying around. But once it's in the ocean, it breaks, and breaks, and breaks, until you get this small microplastic, which are everywhere. Okay, so the other problem, food. For generations, the local main dish and income is fish. Fishes and other sea creatures swallow the small plastic, which makes them die sooner. And people eat them and swallow these microplastics as well. Not healthy. So we cut a fish open to see what's inside. It's not much, but yeah, it's plastic. It's a big problem and it's just growing. A lot of plastic material laying around, but people don't know what to do with it. We tried to boost plastic recycling a bit. Talked with local engineers and showed them the tools to get started. And they were excited to make little souvenirs and started building machines. <laughs> <laughs> and we went to a local school to learn children about plastic, showed some cool things you can make with old plastic bags, and together we made a trash can, although I'm not sure if they got that. But it was fun. 